Methamalonic acid, MMA, is a metabolic intermediate produced during the body's breakdown of specific amino acids and fatty acids. In healthy individuals, MMA is converted to succinic acid, a vital component of the citric acid cycle involved in energy metabolism. This conversion is catalyzed by an enzyme called methylmalonyl CoA mutase, which requires vitamin B12 as a cofactor. Vitamin B12 is required to activate the enzyme and facilitate the conversion of MMA to succinic acid. In individuals with vitamin B12 deficiency, the activity of methylmalonyl CoA mutase is impaired, leading to the buildup of MMA in the blood and urine. This can lead to various symptoms and health problems, including anemia, nerve damage, and cognitive impairment. Therefore, maintaining adequate levels of vitamin B12 is essential for the proper breakdown of MMA and overall health. The urine methamalonic acid test is a widely used diagnostic tool for assessing vitamin B12 status and detecting the buildup of MMA in individuals with B12 deficiency. This test measures the levels of MMA in the urine, which reflects the amount of MMA that is not metabolized correctly due to impaired methylmalonyl CoA mutase activity. The urine MMA test is highly sensitive and specific for detecting B12 deficiency. Studies show a high positive predictive value for identifying true B12 deficiency cases. Norman Clinical Laboratory Incorporated NCL, provides a means of MMA test kits to individuals through the mail for home testing. The test measures methamalonic acid MMA, by selected ion monitoring isotope dilution gas chromatography mass spectrometry GC -MS, in a random spot urine specimen. The MMA value is normalized to urine creatinine to correct urine dilution. This urinary MMA slash creatinine ratio test is far more accurate than the blood test because it indicates tissue slash cellular B12 deficiency. This test is often used by physicians wishing to make a conclusive diagnosis of vitamin B12 deficiency with a single test. It is also used for individuals who desire to be tested in the privacy of their own home as well as for investigators seeking to conduct the most valid research study. Vitamin B12 deficiency can cause dementia identical to early stage Alzheimer's disease. In addition, vitamin B12 deficiency has been implicated as a significant risk factor for developing Alzheimer's. Vitamin B12 deficiency can also cause psychological and psychiatric symptoms, anemia, and is a serious risk factor for developing cardiovascular disease. Early detection and treatment, using the MMA test with vitamin B12 injections, has been proven to reverse neurological disabilities. Strict vegetarians and breastfed infants of vegans are at risk of having B12 deficiency. Vitamin B12 is found only in animal sources such as meat, fish, eggs and milk. Unless a person is a vegetarian, vitamin B12 deficiency is usually caused by malabsorption, due to a lack of the stomach protein called intrinsic factor resulting in pernicious anemia. In addition, a mild type B12 deficiency is found in some elderly individuals with atrophic gastritis. Eating fortified cereals and taking multivitamin supplements may eliminate some B12 deficiency in this population, but a yearly urine MMA screening is still warranted. Take note, it is vital to diagnose early vitamin B12 deficiency, since treatment can reverse this process before symptoms begin to manifest. The recommendation for individuals with neurological manifestations is for B12 intramuscular injections of 1000 micrograms daily for two weeks, then every two weeks for six months, and then monthly for life. In addition, some physicians may treat using high amounts of oral B12, intranasal B12, or sublingual B12. However, adequate response to severe neurological symptoms to oral therapy has not been conclusively proven. Follow-up urine MMA levels on individuals receiving oral, intranasal, or sublingual B12, will assess compliance and B12 absorption and assimilation to correct B12 deficiency at the tissue level. Vitamin B12 deficiency can also cause elevated blood homocysteine levels, a significant risk factor for strokes, heart attacks, heart disease, and blood clots. The urine MMA test was developed by Dr. Eric J. Norman, PhD, in collaboration with the late M. Drew Denton, MD and co-workers at the Hematology Division of the University of Cincinnati College of Medicine, USA. This pioneering research continued to advance in terms of the following. 
1. Identify the high prevalence of neurological disease in vitamin B12 deficient patients without anemia. 2. Identify the high prevalence of metabolic B12 deficiency in older populations. 3. Identify the high prevalence of metabolic B12 deficiency in individuals with a normal blood vitamin B12 level. 4. Validate the urinary MMA test as a screening tool for identifying tissue B12 deficiency in all populations. 5. Establish the first commercial laboratory in 1985, for measuring normal levels of MMA using gas chromatography mass spectrometry, making the assay an available clinical test. 6. Established the first internet website in 1996, specifically for providing mailing kits and information for the early non-invasive detection of metabolic vitamin B12 deficiency. HTTP colon slash slash www.b12.com The urine MMA test is considered to be the best test for diagnosing B12 deficiency for several reasons. 1. Specificity, the MMA test is highly specific for B12 deficiency because it measures the levels of a substance called MMA, which is only elevated in the presence of B12 deficiency. 2. Sensitivity, the MMA test is very sensitive and can detect even mild B12 deficiency. 3. Accuracy, the MMA test has high precision, with rare false positives or negatives. 4. Easy to perform. The MMA test is a simple urine test that can be completed at home, saves time, and is easy to do. 5. Monitoring response to treatment. The MMA test can also be used to monitor response to B12 treatment, as MMA levels should decrease with treatment. The urine MMA test is the best test for diagnosing B12 deficiency, particularly in patients with nonspecific symptoms or borderline B12 levels. The urine MMA test is considered a bullseye-like accuracy test compared to the typical blood test for vitamin B12 deficiency, especially in the early stages. In addition, the MMA test is a more sensitive and specific marker of B12 deficiency than other blood markers, such as blood B12 and homocysteine levels. For example, the urine MMA test was found to have 100% sensitivity in identifying less obvious B12 deficient hospital patients. If the person is even slightly B12 deficient, the MMA test will be positive. Using the MMA test to screen non-anemic senior populations, 49% of the 35 subjects found to be B12 deficient, had normal serum B12 levels. MMA levels normalized with B12 injections. Using the urine MMA test to screen a vegetarian population, 43%, 23 of 54, had abnormally high MMA levels indicating metabolic B12 deficiency. Of those found B12 deficient with the MMA test, 83%, 19 of 23, had a normal serum B12 level. MMA levels normalized with adequate B12 therapy. A normal MMA was less than 4.0. Additionally, urine MMA levels increase very early during B12 deficiency. In contrast, Blood B12 levels may decrease once the deficiency has become more advanced. Therefore, the urine MMA test can detect B12 deficiency earlier and more accurately than the typical blood test. B12 deficiency is the only known cause for high MMA, except for a rare life-threatening enzyme deficiency evident early in life. However, in a screening study, high MMA levels dropped markedly in all 16 subjects treated with vitamin B12 replacement. In a survey of hospital patients with vitamin B12 deficiency, the urine MMA test specificity and overall accuracy were both 99%. In addition, a convincing study of the value of the MMA test showed the reduction of MMA for vegetarians receiving sublingual B12 and nutritional yeast, but not those receiving probiotic foods. It is possible for a vitamin B12 deficiency to develop within a couple of years on a vegan diet if appropriate steps are not taken to ensure sufficient B12 intake. The urine MMA test is a functional assay. It reflects vitamin B12 activity at the tissue-slash-cellular level, since MMA levels are directly related to a B12-dependent metabolic pathway in the citric acid cycle. The conversion of MMA to succinic acid requires vitamin B12, specifically adenosylcobalamin. The metabolic pathway for MMA is shown in this image. The urine methylmalonic acid test helps identify vitamin B12 deficiency. 
Its use in preventive healthcare could help identify B12 deficiency earlier and prevent potential complications. B12 deficiency is a common problem, especially in older adults and those following a vegetarian or vegan diet. Early detection and treatment of B12 deficiency can prevent serious health problems such as anemia, nerve damage, and cognitive impairment. The urine MMA test is a simple and non-invasive test that can detect B12 deficiency even before symptoms occur. Therefore, it is an essential tool in preventive health care. The test is also relatively inexpensive and widely available, making it accessible to many. Overall, utilizing the urine MMA test more often in the healthcare sector would help to identify B12 deficiency earlier and prevent potential complications, improving overall health outcomes. Thanks for watching.